What's up, YouTube? I'm back with the first salary cap hell game that I've had. Salary cap leaderboards has opened to qualify for club series in the MCS. So make sure you pick your team and you start grinding the salary cap leaderboards. And this game is actually against Joel again, who is the only person I've lost to on Mad 19 online. And that, if y'all watched that game, it was earlier. It's on the YouTube. If you haven't seen that, Please check it out. It was a crazy game. Another battle against a great player. And we're locked in for another one. This is salary cap. You know, so you only have 800 caps, so you got to use your players wisely. I have Tyree Kill because, you know, that 92 speed is worth every bit of cap. So, like I said in previous videos a thousand times, when you get the ball first, what you want to do is score seven. And all the offense, I'm in the Jets playbook and this offense. If you go to MaddenTurf.com, use the link that's in the description. You can go ahead and get the ebook for this. You can get the premium membership and get every update that I put on this book. But this is against uh, Joel, who's probably one of the best defensive players you know, in the nation with the way he's run dollars for the last couple years. He's really good at mixing up his coverages and you know, it's confusing the offense. I don't really have a running back. You know, if you guys have watched me before, I'm really not that big of a runner. But um, as we hit Tyreek Hill up top, that's what I like to do. But, you know, when someone's good on defense and they're in dollar, sometimes you got to mix in the run. And right there, he gets the loop around with the young Buchanan. Obviously, crossfire is a pain in the neck to keep playing against. We're able to hit Evan Ingram underneath. Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram. We're going to use him because he's fast. The drags happen faster. He floods the zone. Fat. Here we go. Nice run stick with Ronald Jones. And somehow, Sean Taylor tackles me. But that's okay. We're getting inside the five here. He blitzes everybody. We'll find a nice little baby curl at Odell. Easy first drive. That's the way you want to start the game. That's the way you tell your opponent I'm here to play. And that's the way you strike fear in his heart. Like, damn, this offense is moving. Here, Joel gets a big play versus me. If you watched the last game, you know, Joel, I gave Joel too much time in the pocket. So this game, I completely, completely changed the philosophy. We're going to send the goons, but he's getting good pass protection now. So right here, we're going to have pick him off. I switched the coverage up. That's OB Menafuala Halu. Able to pick him off with him. Great lurk by me. I played like I was going to the flat. If you see a play like a little bit go to the flat, back over the middle, that's why you can't replace 6-3 with the jump. Able to go snag that. He's also throwing the ball to a short player. Made it easier to snag. He was going to run the play action play, but it's, it's super bad. The playmaker didn't help me. Throw the ball away. Great turnover on my first drive. An easy first possession and a turnover. That's a, that's a great combination. Throw underneath the Ingram here. We get to a third and long. Third and long, he actually like brushed the passer, then dropped back in covers, confused me, and the ball smacked him in the head. Fourth down, I have a dot, but he gets a great shed by the two middle guys. So I turned the ball. I went for it there because he's so close to the end zone that it's hard to score. You know, I already got a stop, so I can afford to go for it right there. And make it, and he's running draw a lot. And, and interesting, what I do here is he's ran draw for good yards there. So if I'm offense, I'm expecting a run commit at some point. But he still runs draw again. Well, here we go. We get inside the one. And the first play, I guess he expects a run commit. I don't. He passes. And the thing that kills him here, I hold my water. I never send my spy. Just play my zone. Let my guys fight to the quarterback. And he takes a sack. So instead of going for the four, now he's back at the eight. Runs a draw and clown and kills him. So he's got third and goal from the 13. Obviously, I'm conceding my field goal here. I'm going to play the sticks. Make sure he doesn't isn't able to pass the ball in the end zone. Concede and give up my field goal. And that's what we do here, you know. He's got Matt Ryan, doesn't have a mobile, nothing's open. Give up the field goal there. Great inside the 10 defense by me. Bad play calling and bad sack he took by Joel to, to cause him to only take three. And that's huge on defense offense, especially in a tight battle right here. So I got stopped last time. I got to, you know, get some points. So we're going to start again. Ronald Jones is really eating. I mean, I don't like to run, but the way my line is blocking, you see these holes just opening up. I'm afraid to run into Sean Taylor with Ronald Jones. Actually, this game alone got me thinking about getting a different running back. Because one, right there, he got plowed over <laughs> in pass protection. Once again, Evan Ingram. Man. Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram, Evan Ingram. He's fast enough to run away from man coverage. And he, well, this is a great pocket by me to step up and high ball to Moss on third and 11. Great job right there by my line. Actually holding up for once. Right there, I went for a four verts. I thought they would give me the throw away to the drag and the flat on the other side. They just didn't do that. So we'll have a hit Ingram here. We get to the 38 fringe, fringe field goal range. Third and 12. I'm just going to run to try to pick up another yard. Actually got a great block shot. But just secure my field goal. Third and 12 right there. It's, it's a tough spot to get. So we built the clock as much as we can. Play defense. We're going to switch the covers up. Keep screaming at him. You know, we're sending everybody. All the dogs are in the box. 
and they're going to get the quarterback. That's pretty much how we feel right now. And they, it kills my scene. That was probably the last play of the game where I ran cover two. You know, stock cover two with no deep blue over the middle because I hate giving up that big play. I'll give up a drag. I'll give up anything. But that is a killer play. But you know huddles. You all know huddles a lot. Boom. Once again, send the dogs. Send the dogs. Justin Houston went and got him. Here we come again. Send the dogs. Able to hold off just long enough to hit this corner route over here to Vernon Davis. Mm, right there. Nice play by him putting a fade out there. I had a hard flat there, and he was able to throw it over the top. Runs draw here. Gets close. He only has two timeouts. Six seconds. He can still run. He goes to an inside zone and Amos. I have Amos at corner. Block shit. Tackle. Holds him to three again. Great inside the 10 defense. He ran out of time there. He gets the ball at half. He starts with a draw. That's bagged. Once again, we're sending him. Sack. Bunch of sacks this game. Really sent the heat. Nice job hitting the little baby curl over the middle of him. He, that third and 28 gets to a fourth and 14. He rolls this. Throws the ball up to John Ross. Catches it in front of Amos. I need Amos to kill him and get a drop pass right there. This is a nice play. I click on chance. I click off. Click back on, you know, that's kind of how defense is. <laughs> click on, click off, click on. That was a great tackle by Chancellor to not give up a big play. We're really bagging the run really good right now because I have so many people in the box. Get to a fourth down. Tries to throw on the flat and TJ Green, budget beast, my start in free safety, makes a pick in the hard flat. So I had the ball back now. Now, if I score a touchdown, the game's over. I'm going to use this clock. Keep running Ronald Jones. I mean, you see these holes that he's giving me and my offensive line is providing. That's just, I mean, I'm going to keep running. You know, obviously, every time I see the safety, I run away because I don't want to run to the safety. This last one, I actually sub in Kamara there, my 10 cap, 75 speed running back. I want to keep running. Because this is just too easy. We'll take some clock. We chew clock here. We run down. If we get in the end zone, and this looks like we're going to get in the end zone and win the game. And, you know, I play Joel, so I'm going to strip fumble from behind. Boom. Give him the ball back. It's okay. We'll play some defense here. Bagging the draw. Nice job by my line. Really bagged the draw all game. Again. Bags the draw again. Get to a third and long. Once again, he no huddles. Able to hit the flat pass. He jukes one person, but OB hit sticks him. Good job. All right. Fourth and two. I've been blitzing the hell out of him, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play cover three, and I make a stupid adjustment by putting my left slot in a purple zone, and it kills me here. Absolutely kills me here, because if he covers that, he's boxed. There's nothing to throw. Bad adjustment by me. I should have stayed all hard flats, but we scream again. Keep bringing the dogs. Keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Here he's able to hit the flat. He had time that time. Spin moves one person and gets blocked from everybody. Lamar Miller has 87 speed. This is the, the you know the gift and the curse of blitzing everybody. Obviously, I sacked him a whole bunch. Got a bunch of turnovers, but we also give up that big play. Go ahead and Tyreek Hill comes up with a big catch for me right there. Down the sideline. Boom. Now I'm already in field goal range. He finally gets a block shot on the run. So I'm already in field goal range here. The game is tied. And pretty much what I have to do now after I get the third down is kind of waste a little bit of clock. Because obviously the game is tied. He has all three timeouts. And if I don't get this third down, I'm going to kick my field goal. But I have to milk enough time to where if I don't get the, the first down and kick my field goal, he doesn't have a, a crazy amount of time here. So I'm going to use about 10 seconds off the clock. I see a seam. I can hit this over... Over the cloud flat, and Carson Wentz overthrows it. Would have been a tough throw, but, you know, one that I wish I would have got for a touchdown there. But we tie the game up. He tries to go four verts here. He's dumping off the run. but got tackled. We've got enough people in coverage to where he can jump around and waste time. And No big plays here, pretty much, what we're going to do. Amos with a big tackle, keep him in bounds, make him use a timeout, 12 seconds left. He throws in the flat again. Patrick Peterson comes up and pops him. Eight seconds left. He's got one timeout. Send the dogs again. We go and get him. My man Moore with two and a half sacks on the day. I probably have ten sacks combined. Just screaming. That's the end of the game. We're going to overtime. One of my first overtime games of the year. Obviously, you want to get the ball first. But I'm playing such good defense. I don't mind either way. You know, I feel like if I if I kick off, then I'm going to get the ball in better field, field position. If I kick a field goal and win. But I win the toss. Get the ball. Gotta go down the field. The run is working really well. I feel like I can keep pounding him. I can keep getting big chunks with Ronald Jones, who has 86 speed. He's 6'1. He's not a little boy. So he won't get his stick this easily. But at the end of the day, he's not a workhorse. He's not a superstar running back. He's just good enough. And Tyreek Hill 
almost gets freaking embraced the tackle for the touchdown. So let's start the drive good. That's all it's about. Once again, I'm gonna hit Evan Ingram underneath. You play cloud flats. You play over the top. The drag is gonna kill you. I have nine completions. I promise most of them are on this drag to Evan Ingram. Good job. That's the speed I'm talking about. Mr. His stick gave me extra 10 yards. 10 for 14. Once again, Ronald Jones right up the middle. 8, 9 yards a pop. 12 carries for 88 yards. That's a lot. Great run stick there by me to get another 7. Infinite goal range. Go to Ronald Jones. I'm in overtime here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch Kamara in my 10 capper. But I also could use my timeouts because I don't need them in overtime. You know, you call your timeout, let your running back get a breather. That's something that not a lot of people doing overtime is something you should be doing. But this is Alvin Kamara with 75 speed, the 10 cap. Another 11 yards. If you're getting 11 yards with a 10 cap, I mean, boom, <laughs> you should be running the ball more. Able to hit a dot, sneak a dot in there every once in a while. This was great defense. He mans up Ingram and the linebacker dove and swatted that one out the way. And here we go for the second and 10. What I put out there got bagged. I get to a third and 10 down here. I'm going to cook up a little dot for him. That's a nice little red zone play. Gets me to a fourth and one, you know, and I didn't come down here to kick a field goal. We didn't go through this drive. We didn't put Alvin Kamara in. We didn't throw dots to kick a field goal. Put my running back on aggressive just in case I want to run the ball. I really don't know what I want to do when I get to the line of scrimmage. But I'm going to probably run that same play, maybe a little baby curl, maybe a little out route drag, something something over the maybe a high ball option. We'll see what the defense looks like. But if I want to run, I'm on aggressive. He's baseline. There's not that many people in the box. I'm going to run it. You know, let's see what happens. I've been pounding him. Boom. Right in the end zone. GG's in the chat. That was a great game. My running game worked unreal. I never really liked to run that much. But, hey, if it's going to keep popping, keep giving the ball to the running back. You know, good game to Joel. I mean, I played defense a lot differently that game. I got burnt a couple times, but I also had tons of sacks. Had 119 rushing yards, 166 passing yards. Had generated two turnovers and the fumble was my only turnover I feel like I played well that game like I said if you like the offense obviously if you like the defense the way I was screaming check out the link below to go to man turf the yearly premium membership will give you everything that I released this year gonna update some more gameplay videos for y'all appreciate it Nerd!